Let's say we want to find all the cities in the world where the population is greater than 1 million. So you'll see here in ArcGIS Pro, I have my cities already displayed and you'll see it over, you'll see the cities feature class over in the table of contents here. So given that population is an attribute of this particular feature class, we're going to use the tool select by attributes to find the answer to our question. So first of all, if we open the attribute table by right clicking over in the table of contents on the feature class, we'll see all the information that's sitting behind those dots that you see on the map. And so we'll see here, we've got the name of the town, which is really important. And we'll see that we have the country where that town is located. And if we're scrolling all the way over, you can see this field that has the population there as well. And so I can sort that so we can find where our most populous cities are. And if I wanted to work out the, the, all the cities with the populations greater than 1 million, I could simply go through and start to select these ones. But I don't quite like doing that manual sort of selection. And so I want to show you a way that we can do this with the select by attributes tool, which is a lot faster. So first of all, let's just clear that selection and let's instead go up to the select by attributes tool. So you can access this via the, the view tab once you've got your attribute table open, but you can also get to it from the map tab there as well and select by attributes. Now we want to have as our input the cities feature class. You can add any class that you like in there and we're going to create a new selection. Now we come down and we go to add clause and we're, we're interested in information from the population field and we want to find areas where the population is greater than and I'm just going to type in 1 million here. And once I've done that, I hit add. And so that sort of cements that query in there as well. Then all I need to do is to hit run and we'll see the selected records appear in our attribute table and also over here in our map. So we can see that they're linked. And you can see down the bottom of our attribute table, we have 739 records selected. And if we want to view them all, we can just pop over into the selected records there and we'll be able to see all the towns. Now, what would happen if we were interested in finding not just those that have a population greater than a million, but maybe we want to find between 1 million and 5 million. So we can pop over into our geoprocessing tool over here and we can either add to the selection or we can come down here to add a clause. So it's, it's up to you the way you go about doing it if you want to gradually add and remove as you build your queries or if you want to create a single query that does it all in one hit. So I'm going to show the example here where we build the query to have multiple steps in it. So we're going to find cities where the population is greater than a, than a million and the cities where the population is also less than 5 million. So all you need to do is to remember to hit add down there and that locks both of those in and when we hit run we should expect to have fewer than 739 records selected because we're now cutting out those cities that have populations greater than 5 million. So there we see we have 561 records now you'll see that it's changed in the display and that's the way we use the query builder to select by attributes in ArcGIS Pro.